Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, welcome to today's feature spotlight. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. My name is Abby. Welcome to our monthly product release roundup. Uh, this is going to be a special edition of our feature, feature spotlight webinar, where we focus on updates released over the last month. Um, so we do have tons of exciting product releases uh, that we've released in August for you. Everything from memberships updates to two-way texting and integrated form improvements and so much more. Um, so I'm really excited to dive in and share the highlights with you today. Okay, well, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start sharing the Mango Mint app, um, and then we'll get started, and I'll just go through all of the product updates with you today. All right, and let me know if anyone cannot see my screen. I'm now sharing the Mango Mint app with you. Okay, um, and I do have it zoomed in so you can see the app as clearly as possible. So our first update is really exciting. This is all um, related to our memberships. Um, so we've made some great improvements to memberships and really made it um, more flexible to set up your membership billing periods. So let me show you how to access this new feature. So what we're gonna do is just go over to settings and then we're just going to click on membership setup. There we go. And here is where we manage all of our membership plans. And then we're just going to click on create a membership plan. So we'll go ahead and click that. And so what we've added recently is that now your memberships can be billed in day, week or month intervals. So let me show you what I mean by that. So what you can do here is let's just make a new membership. We'll call this the massage membership. And then for the billing period, this is where it gets really exciting. So this is where you can set up kind of the interval that you want to use. So um, here is where you can adjust and have it go by months, weeks, or days. And then you can also use this field right here to adjust how often the selected billing interval should occur. So for example, you could have every month or you could change this. We could do every three uh, weeks, for example. You could do every seven days just like that, or you could do every two weeks. So there's all types of different ways you can set this up and really you know, customize your memberships to fit your needs. Um, so love that update, and that's just gonna make it really nice to, for you to offer you know, flexible memberships that fit the needs of you and your clients that are gonna be purchasing those memberships. Okay, so let's go on to the next update. So the next update is really exciting and really we've made it a lot easier to stay on top of client communication. So it's going to be a lot easier for you to actually see open conversations on the calendar. So let me show you guys where to kind of see these conversations and show you some of these updates. So what we're going to do now is go over to the messages tab right here. And then we can look here at our open and our closed conversations. So you see here, if we click that, we're now viewing our closed conversations. And then if I go back here, I'm now viewing any open conversations that I have. It looks like I do have one open conversation right now with Sarah Smith. And so really, you know, whenever you have one of these open conversations with a client, we really wanted to make it super easy for you to see that when you're also looking at the calendar and also when you're checking out appointment details. So let's just take a look at this conversation. We have this um, combo with Sarah right now. And so now um, I'm going to show you guys what this actually looks like on the calendar. So let's head over to the calendar. And then as you guys can see here, we do have this French pedicure set up for Sarah Smith. Um, so we can go ahead and click on this. And so you guys are going to notice a couple of these new updates. So first of all, you guys can see here, we have this new icon on the calendar, this little message icon you see here that appears right here on the appointment. And then also, if you look to the right side of the screen, we've also added this orange dot right here. 
And so again, these two icons, this orange dot and this message icon, those are going to appear whenever the client has an open conversation. Um, and this is really helpful and timely for you guys, because if there is an open conversation, that may indicate that you may need to take some type of action or something like that. You know, maybe this client, Sarah Smith, maybe she recently sent in a question or responded to our text message or things like that. Um, so we just wanna make you extra aware of those open conversations. And another really cool part of this update is that when you click this orange dot, I'm just going to click it right now. This is actually going to take us directly to that open conversation that we have with Sarah Smith. So you can go here, you can check out the latest conversation. You know, in this case, they're kind of talking some back and forth about an appointment that she has booked, maybe some questions that she has. Um, and so you can go here, check out the latest messages. You can respond if needed. Um, so we can just say, Hi there. We'll just send an example message here. We'll go ahead and send that. And then once you just close out of that on the messages screen, you're taken right back here into the calendar and the appointment details. Um, so it's really nice. It's a streamlined workflow, um, you know, really great when you're viewing your calendar, checking out the upcoming appointments and all of that. And this will also work just as well on your mobile device as well. So I know a ton of you are using your mobile devices, so you can do the same thing on your mobile device. Um, so this will be really great. Again, you know, when you're in that flow of checking appointments, you're booking people in, you're checking people out, all of that, you know, you're scheduling for the upcoming days. Um, now you can ensure that you don't miss any important client messages. So really excited to share that update with you all. Okay, so we have another update that's also related to messages and two-way texting. So this next item is actually some mobile push notification improvements that we've added. So let's go ahead and head, head uh, back over to the messages tab. So we'll just click that and we're back in our messages. And so this is a really great enhancement for any of you who are using our two-way texting add-on. And if you have any questions about two-way texting, um, definitely check out our website and also we'd be happy to give you a demo of two-way texting in case you're not familiar with it. Um, so this update is basically for those of you who are using the Mango Mint iOS app. If you have enabled mobile app notifications whenever new messages are received, now those push notifications are actually gonna show the sender name. And um, you know there may be some cases where the sender's name is unknown. In those cases, the push notification that you'll get on your phone is going to show the sender's phone number instead. So if we go back here on the messages screen, you can see that we do have an open conversation with client Sarah Smith right now, as we didn't close that yet, so it's still open. And so we'll just click back in there. And so when Sarah texts the Seven Lakes Salon and Spa and she wants to ask a question, um, you know, as a staff member working at the Seven Lakes Salon and Spa, I'm going to receive a mobile push notification right here on my phone, and I'm going to know right away that she has sent an, a message that I might need to take action on. And so I'll just do a quick example. It's going to be kind of hard to show you, but we'll try our best here. So I'm just going to go ahead and send a text um, as if I was Sarah, the client. I'm just going to go ahead and text that in. And you can see here that popped up here. Great, I do have a question. And so I actually did receive, uh, it's hard to show you, but I did receive a push notification right here on my cell phone. And actually when I tap that notification, just like that, I'm actually taken directly to the open conversation uh, with Sarah as well. So really helpful. And again, just making sure that you don't miss any important messages. And also something to point out is we did also enable uh, mobile app notification sound alerts by default so that you don't miss any incoming messages as well. So just a few updates on the two-way texting and messages side for you all. Okay, next we have a really great enhancement for those who are using our integrated forms add-on. So let's go ahead and just go over here to settings now. And we'll click on settings. And then we're gonna go ahead and actually click on form templates. So we'll click form templates. And so again, this is where you can manage all of your integrated forms. And so what we've added to our integrated forms is that now you can actually add a custom confirmation message for submitted forms. So this is something to point out here is that this is only for forms that are either filled out by clients or it's also for external forms such as those that you might put on your website. So just important to keep in mind, it's for forms filled out by clients or external forms. So let me show you an example of this. We'll go over here to the facial intake form. And then uh, we're gonna open this up here and then we're actually just gonna go to the advanced settings right here. 
So we'll go ahead and click on advanced right there. And so as you can see here, we have this new confirmation message setting. And so whenever clients fill out the form and submit it, they're going to be showing the custom confirmation message. So you can see here, I have already set one up. Um, if you go, you can edit this really easily. You can, you know, kind of customize the styling a little bit. You can bold the text, use bullet points. You can even add a link if you want to, um, whatever you'd like to do there. So we'll just go ahead and cancel that. So that's what I've set up. And then I'm just going to quickly jump to my other screen so that I can show you guys what that form confirmation message looks like. Okay, so let me just pop over to the other tab here. Okay, and here you go. So now you guys can see this custom form confirmation that I've set up. So up top here, of course, we have the standard confirmation message that we always have. And then below here, you can see that custom message. So this is really nice. You know, if you wanted to add maybe some pre-appointment instructions, maybe you want to use this area to reiterate some policies that you have, like your cancellation policy or things like that, or other guidelines, or really just put any other types of information there that is relevant. All right, let me hop over to my other screen, just a moment. Okay, and again, let me know if you can't see the app, okay? So really love that update. Um, so our next update, we do have a couple more to go over with you today. So our next update is for service customization. So, you know, we've been adding a ton of different functionality and more advanced functionality to service customizations, um, which we released a couple months ago now. Um, so definitely, you know, check out our other webinars if you want to learn more about that. But we have actually added a calendar icon for service customizations. So let me show you guys where to set that up. So what we're going to do is go to settings and then just click on services. And so this is where you can manage all of your services and also, of course, set up all of your service customizations. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and check out the gel manicure that we've already set up. So if we go right here, we can see the gel manicure. And so now what you guys can do is you can actually display a special icon on the calendar when a certain customization is selected. So let me show you guys how to actually set that up. So now that we're in the service, what you can do is actually just go to the customizations tab, which will be right here. And so as you can see here, we do have one option group that's already set up. So this is um, you know, a service customization for this particular service. You can add nail art. And so what we're gonna do is go ahead and just click into that. And then all you need to do is actually scroll down to the advanced options and just click that. And then we'll keep scrolling down a little bit more. And you can see we have this new setting to show icon on calendar when selected. So we can go ahead and enable that. And now basically what this means is that if any of these options are selected from this option group, we are going to display the little plus icon on the calendar. So I'll go ahead and save that. And then we're actually gonna go over to our calendar so I can show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so if you take a look here, this is the gel manicure that we've actually set up previously. So Erica Medina is going to come in and get a nice manicure. And so what you guys can see now is that we do have this plus icon that's showing on the calendar. If we click this and we go to the appointment details on the right side, you can see that Erica decided that she wanted to add some rhinestones to get some you know, nail art during her gel manicure as an add-on. Um, so you can see that nice little indicator with that plus sign there. Um, and I will say, you know, this is disabled by default. We don't necessarily want to add this for every single service. I mean, it's really up to you, but we didn't want to clutter up your calendar too much. So I would recommend just, you know, be strategic about using this icon. Um, I think it's really helpful, especially if there's a particular customization um, or, you know, a few different customizations that you always want to be extra aware of. Um, maybe, for example, you always want to be really aware of any add-ons that would add, you know, extra fees to the service cost. Maybe you want to be extra aware of those. And so that might be a good time to use that icon. But really, it's up to you. You can use it however you see fit. 
Okay, I do have one more awesome update for you guys, and this is for our gift cards. Um, so really great, a couple awesome enhancements specific, specifically uh, for our gift cards. So what you can do is actually now you guys can set up internal notification emails whenever a gift card is purchased online. So let me show you guys how to set that up. So we are gonna head over to settings, and then what we're actually gonna go to now is click on automated messages. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then you can actually go here to where it says gift cards. So we'll go to the gift cards tab. And then what you can do here is it says, um, these are kind of these internal notifications that you can set up, send when purchased online. So you, if you just click here and click add a message, you can add an internal notification to specific email address. So let's go ahead and add that. And then if you click this little gear icon, you can actually customize this further if you want to. So you can go ahead and check it out here. Um, or I should say, sorry, I misspoke. You can't customize this more, but what I mean by customizing is that you can actually customize where these emails are going to be sent to. So what you can do is where it says email recipients, if you just click on edit, you can go ahead and add the email address, or maybe if you wanna add multiple people there, you can definitely add multiple email recipients as well. So this is really nice. And then any of those recipients are going to get this um, nice email notification that says, you know, John Smith bought an online gift card for Ashley Moore along with the gift card details. And then they can log into the Mango Mint account to view the gift card. And then we actually have another update related to this, which is really great. So not only have we added these internal notifications for um, online gift card sales, but we've also strengthened our fraud prevention checks when online gift cards are sold. So now whenever the, um, you know, whoever is purchasing the gift card, they must provide their full billing address in order to purchase it online. So we've made that even more secure and just further way to mitigate any potential fraud when purchasing online gift cards. And I will note too that there may be occasional times when an incorrect billing address may still go through. Um, for example, this could happen in certain cases if it was spelled incorrectly or something like that. Um, but if that happens, then the internal notification email that you see here, it's actually going to include a yellow warning icon in it with some messaging letting you know, um, basically, you, basically alerting you that the billing address could not be verified um, and that it may indicate an increased fraud risk so that you're fully aware of that. Um, so just another way to keep you informed, you know, of potential fraud risk or things like that. Um, and again, you'll be able to log into your Mango Min account and check that out if needed in case that ever happens and you see that internal um, warning as well. So let me go ahead and close that out. And I think we now have wrapped up all of some of the biggest releases for August. Um, and I will say too, you know, first of all, want to let you know that we are doing these every month, typically every four to five weeks. So we're, you know, always doing these kind of release roundups, these special edition of our feature uh, spotlight where we go through all of our latest releases. And then also, you know, this webinar kind of covered some of the big highlights from August. But if you guys want to dive into even more product updates, you can actually head over to our new product updates page. We just launched uh, this last month. If you go to updates.mangomint.com, you can check out all of our latest product updates. And we update that page every few days as we're releasing new uh, features and enhancements for Mango Mint. So if you guys have any questions about any of these new features, definitely feel free to chat with our support team and also check out our, our learning center. We've got a ton of great resources on there as well. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody. I really enjoyed spending the time with you today and we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much. Bye.